Right, let's get on with this game show, this panel show. On today's panel, we have DJ, Bowie memorabilia collector, Jay McDonald fan and father <laughs> of stinky blob Nick Grimshaw. Welcome to the show, Nick. Thank you. Hi, Nick. Nice. Um, Welcome. You. Before you tell us what is your king of the tin, mm. could you tell us what biscuit you're going to put in the crumb dungeon, better known as the crumb gin? Yes. Crumb gin. My crumb gin biscuit <laughs> is this. A fig roll. Oh! That's yeah. you. That, that's that's you. To, it, it looks like a dog biscuit. <laughs> and, <laughs> look at that. I love a fig roll. Do you? Oh, yeah. Royce. No. They're more of like a cake, though. They're not a... No, that is a point. biscuit. Is yeah, that's a biscuit. biscuit. Yeah, is it a cake or is it a biscuit? They're just it is nannery, actually... aren't they? Yeah. Like, massive nan biscuit. Any, any fat? It's a nan biscuit. Any it fat? is actually rolled pastry. Um, it's Ooh. believed that the fig roll dates back to ancient Egyptian times, when the ancient <laughs> Egyptians would hand-roll preserved figs in a flowery dough. Ooh. Well done. That. First, no, first appearance. Is that his first appearance? First appearance on the I was going to do Gary Baldy, but I saw, I saw that Roman did that. Yeah. yeah. Last, was that last week? That was. Yeah. yeah, Gary Baldy, not for me either. Yeah. All right, what's your king of the tin, please? King of the tin, I'm going for a classic. <laughs> I feel like this biscuit is good at all times of the day. I'm going for a chocolate hobnob. Oh! <laughs> nice. nice to eat, nice to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I know at the moment at home you're thinking, yeah, what? I've always wondered what is the mm. difference between a hobnob and a digestive. <laughs> Let me enlighten you. Uh, <laughs> a chocolate digestive and a chocolate hobnob are quite similar, but the hobnob, as we all know, uses rolled oats and white self-raising flour, whilst the digestive calls for wholemeal flour and baking powder. That's cleared that one up for you, nation. Mm. Next up, we have Essex Royalty and reality TV manipulator, Fern. <laughs> <laughs> Before you tell us what is uh, king of the tin, please, could you... Uh, Tell us what you're going to put in the crumb dungeon, better known as the crumb dungeon. Yeah, it's like crumb turn. <laughs> crumb dungeon. Crumb dungeon. Crumb So going into the crumb dungeon <laughs> is. I feel like this is going to be controversial. Oh. But I'm sorry, it is the pink white. No. Oh. <laughs> Well, you say, calm, uh, Tim. You well, say it's going to be controversial, but most people put that in the crumb dungeon. Oh, do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I just feel like it's. Air and it's really pointless, <laughs> and you have to eat about 50 of them to feel True. like you're eating one. And I like a nice, substantial biscuit. Mm. See, I thought that until I tried one a couple of weeks ago, and now they're f my firm favourite. Have you tried one recently? Try that one. Well, I, I wouldn't say no, but it's... Um... Oh, so you made a mistake there, you're dunking it. Yeah, it turns uh, just to Yeah, nothing. it turns to nothing, yeah. So I think mm -hmm. the thing with the wafers mm -hmm. is no dunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. In a minute. I got that. <laughs> that is quite nice. Dipped in peppermint tea, my, uh, may I add? Yeah, I mean, that's I, actually I, not, but I'm going to finish it. What, what, we found, <laughs> what, what we found is that the, uh, the biscuit swingometer is swinging quite, uh, quite towards the pink wafer after your addiction was revealed last week. Yeah, so. well, I do, I, have like, I do like them. Yes. Uh, what's your king of the tin, please, Fern? Mm. OK, it's a classic. Like I said, substantial biscuit. It is a digestive. Mm. Yeah. Love. Yeah. I always have these in my cupboard. Uh, historically, some producers use a, a diastatic malt extract, which, of course, we all know what that is, to digest some of the starch that existed mm. in the flour prior to baking to help with your digestion. Fourth mention on King of the Tin. I think it's... I don't know if it's ever a King of the Tin, though, to be honest. What? Well, it is. Well, it's a solid, it? but I mean, if, if it was, I think it's a solid biscuit. But it's a bit like if you if you ask for the best footballer ever, and you go kind of like you know Kenny Dalglish, Kenny Dalglish, Kenny Dalglish, yeah. but you'd never really go Barry Horn, would you? you know, I mean, it's too morning, plain. Barry. I mean, no, no disrespect. Mm. But you know what I mean? It's a bit. It's too plain. It's, too, it's a classic. It's, mm. I yeah. like it's a little bit salty as well. Yeah, I like the salt. Mm. Yeah, I, I like them. I love the digestive. Biscuit. It's a reliable. Yeah, you biscuit. know what you're getting. You've never had one and been like, ugh. Mm. Okay, round three of King of the Tin. Uh, he's a TV star. He's a film star. He's a horse rider. He's Royce <laughs> Pearson. Welcome to the show, uh, Royce. Um, before you, oh, you. By the way, you don't you live a lot of your time in Sweden? Yes. Yeah. We just me and my fiance. We just bought a flat out there. Yeah. Do they else. eat biscuits in Sweden? No. <gasps> they don't. They eat only healthy things. So uh, this will be new to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before you tell us what is king of the tin, could you tell us what is in your uh, crumb dungeon? Better known, Royce, as the the crumb dungeon. The crumb dungeon. <laughs> okay. So I feel bad for condemning a biscuit. I mean, this biscuit's done nothing to me. Yeah. Uh, but it's. 
the custard cream. Ooh. No! Yeah, only because... <laughs> Look at fun. That is yeah, it's a, it's such a good biscuit. <laughs> only because I was, I was playing FIFA with my nephew last week, mm. and he said, every goal you score, I'm going to feed you a custard cream. Right. So he fed me about nine in about eight minutes, so I got <laughs> six. So this is the only reason... I quite like this biscuit, but this is the only reason it's, it's, it's going in. Who won in the end? I won. Mm. I won, but this is why this is going in. OK. Uh, what is your king of the tin, please? OK, so my king of the tin is a shout-out to my best friend, Lucas O'Driscoll. This isn't really my favourite biscuit, but it's a jammy dodger. <laughs> so my best friend, Lucas O'Driscoll, has three things he loves in life. Jammy dodgers, Tottenham Hotspur, and Sunday brunch. Oh. Oh. Two out of three ain't bad, is it? Big, <laughs> After making meatloaf? Yeah. He's the biggest Tottenham fan, Lucas O'Driscoll, and this is for you, and he's a massive... He loves you too, and massive Sunday brunch fan, so oh. this is for him. Morning. Morning, Morning Lucas. Morning. What is your favourite biscuit, though, King of the Tim? I don't really like biscuits. <laughs> 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 so.